If I had been an Italian boy, Cinecitta would have been the place. If I had been American, Metro Goldwyn Mayer or Paramount. Now I was Swedish, brought up in Stockholm, longing all my childhood through to enter these gates of film Staden near Rosunda, film city of Rosunda. I'm a writer turned director. I made four films in here, but the studio discipline was very hard, very heavy. So I started to dream about a small team, well paid, but eager to work when the moods were right and the ideas had matured. So I went to my producer could you give me 100,000 meters of black and white film and total freedom to make a film without a script? He was surprised, of course. He hesitated. I think he had nightmares. Imagine that, total freedom to make the film. I got it. So we went ahead, Lena Nyman and I, and spent the summer of 66 shooting for three months. I used the fall for editing, Christmas for more shooting, springtime for more editing. But the first version of the film wasn't good. The structure was bad. I solved the problem by asking my producer for more film, more time and money, and ended up with two films instead of one. There are two colors in the Swedish flag, yellow and blue, and since the films were about Sweden, I decided to separate them by calling them I am curious yellow and I am curious blue. One is not a sequel to the other, though, I'm thinking of them as parallel, telling the same story with different material. I've been lucky with my publishers. Both of them have been great film fans. My Swedish publisher wanted me to keep a diary on the making of the film. My American one, Barney Rosset, wanted to use I'm Curious Yellow to fight the obscenity laws of the United States. He was going to court. The case was labeled I'm Curious Yellow. No, a motion picture called I'm Curious Yellow versus United States government. That was the peak of my career as a moral reformer. There were many experts on the witness stand, but the jury insisted the film was obscene, so we lost the case on the first level. Different on the second level, two judges to one said it could be shown in the States. And it was in certain parts of the country. Now Barney Rossett had hope for more. He wanted to change the obscenity laws in films. So he went to the Supreme Court. But what happens if four of the judges are for the film and four are against it? You lose the case. The story about 
Losing the Case is told here in this book, Banned Films. There it is. I'm Curious Yellow.